you know you've had a really good night's sleep when it clearly rained cats and dogs outside and it didn't wake me up at all. I'm like, wow. I really must have been tired. So tired, in fact. I'm still yawning right now. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Yep, we are at Tuesday. Monday is over, thank goodness. Now we can move on to the rest of the week where things are starting to get a little bit better. I mean, yeah, it's still cloudy where I'm at, but it's not really supposed to rain. Actually, it's supposed to rain, but like it's 7, 8 o'clock in the morning and I'm just going to peter out. It really shouldn't be that bad today, which I'm glad. I mean, honestly, in terms of weather, it's... Yeah, we've gotten weather that we don't like, but at least it's been practical. Like, it was cold when it was supposed to be cold. It's been hot when it was supposed to be hot. I mean, we don't really care for some of that sometimes, but again, at least it happened when it happened. So, I think I'll start off with the uh, birthday shoutouts today, as per usual, as my new policy states. Got a shout out to uh, two uh, two people. One of them is a girl who I did plays with at Trinity Poly. But wait, you said Trinity Poly is an all boys school. Yes, but some girls from the local high school, I believe it was Poly High School, would actually come and do plays with us. So I actually met a lot of really talented actresses doing that. That was always a really fun time, and a certain someone who I did. Cross country with in college as well. It's their birthday today as well. So, happy birthday, guys. Hope your day turns out to be a really special one. Let's see. What else is there to discuss? Well, as a Dallas Cowboys fan, I do need to talk about one thing. That we got two more guys in the NFL's top 100. Big Tyron Smith and Demarcus Tank Lawrence. Yes. So, right now, the Dallas Cowboys have four people in the NFL's top 100 already. We have Zach Martin at 71, Ezekiel Elliott at 54, Tyron Smith at 39, and Demarcus Lawrence at 34. They do uh, 10 players a week, so they're working their way down. Hopefully, Sean Lee can get on there, and I know for a fact Dak Prescott's going to be on there, but where is he going to be? I don't know. It's really special for uh, these two because Tyron Smith is one of the best offensive linemen in the NFL. In fact, this is the second year in a row where on the NFL's top 100 list, he's the top-ranked offensive lineman. So, yeah, we got the Great Wall of Dallas, yes, and Demarcus Tank Lawrence. Four years of hard work is finally paying off because he was second in the league in sacks, only behind... Actually, a person from this area, believe it or not, Chandler Jones. Yeah, believe it or not, my old high school used to play football against Chandler Jones. His high school was basically nothing but cheat codes in terms of the fact that uh, they had really stacked players. I'm not even kidding. Like, how do I describe this? Every time we lost a union, to all my brothers at Trinity Pauling, you'll probably get this reference. We would lose to Union Endicott, so that's where uh, Chandler Jones went to, was a high school called Union Endicott. We would lose to Union Endicott so bad when he was there, that it might as well have been Trinity Pauling versus Hotchkiss for, uh, I think it was senior, no, it was alumni weekend. Yeah, it was... It was pretty bad. It was really bad. But, um... There was actually one thing that uh, Chandler Jones used to do, because back in high school, if you were good enough, you played on offense and defense and uh, special teams, and pretty sure Chandler Jones was at least on offense and defense. But one thing Chandler Jones would like to do is, if you are about to kick a field goal, he would actually time it to where... He would run up and try and block the kick like, uh, hold on a second. He would, 
there we go. He rub and try to buff you like <sighs> He didn't actually yell. Um, I'm adding humor to this very very seriously, very sad time in the careers of any horse heads athletes who might be watching this. But yeah. Those were not fun games. We never really could beat them. Although I hear before one of the 16 I mentioned retired in his final season they beat Union Endicott. So, that's always nice. Excuse me. Let's see what else. Hmm. Can you tell I really miss football ladies and gentlemen? I mean, yeah, we have some sports going on right now. We have the Stanley Cup Finals, the NBA Finals, and, you know, baseball is going strong right now. But, I don't know, I, I just love football so much that when it's not going on, I miss it. And the worst part of it is, we got at least two months before even any, well, actually that's not true. I mean, there's going to be preseason, but... We got at least two months before any college games remotely start. Actually, it's going to be more than two months. It's more like two and a half months. Oh, boy. It's going to be a long summer waiting for football to start. But there are some things to tie me over. I mean, I got, I mean again, I've been watching the NFL's top 100 players of 2018. That's keeping me entertained. And later on in the summer, Hard Knocks is going to premiere their newest season on the Cleveland Browns, which, honestly, with the fact that Cleveland is the second team in history to go 0-16, it wouldn't be a bad idea to do a season on them. You know, for the longest time, I had no idea Hard Knocks existed. So, for again, for the longest time, I'm waiting for the Dallas Cowboys to go on. But they did their season back in, like, 2010, 20. 12 or something like that, a long time ago. So apparently I missed that. But that's fine. Honestly, that season would have only reminded me about the times that Tony Romo disappointed us. I'm telling you, the fact we got rid of Tony Romo means things are going to be looking up, and they already have. Ever since we got rid of Tony Romo, we've had two winning seasons so far. Well, at least the second one was more than 500. And plus, we really should have gone to the playoffs that year. Honestly, a lot of that was Des Bryant's fault when we lost to Seattle. Honestly, now I'm kind of glad he's gone. The more I think about it. I mean, I respect the guy, but... You know, sometimes in trying to be number one... You forget that it can come across as being very snooty, very... Overconfident and very rude. But... That's just how some people are, I guess. I'm not really going to fight people's emotions. I mean, people are who they are. That's how it is. So, let's see what else there to discuss. Hmm. Well, other than usual, I miss being at the lake right now. That's always a real pain. But, again, honestly, on a day like today, I shouldn't really be up at the lake at all. Honestly, because of the fact that it's Tuesday and nobody's up there, but, more importantly, that, uh, again, the weather's going to be so cold and windy that why would anyone be up there? No one wants to be up at Tuca Lake or Seneca Lake or any of the Finger Lakes, really, when it's this weather out. I mean, I know why, but... Just because you're up there and the weather isn't bad doesn't mean there isn't stuff to look forward to. I mean, I've already gushed about how nice the views are up there. In fact, you've seen a bunch of the views a lot. So, I can't see you any, any of you guys complaining about that. But, I really should consider doing other things in terms of when I'm up at Kika Lake. I'm going to try and get stuff like that going. Because there are some things you guys really should be seeing up there. And honestly, two weeks ago was Memorial Day weekend and timing was just so awful. I mean, I'm glad I got to show you some of my folks. That was really great. And last weekend wasn't as bad as it could have been. But it was bad enough where there really wasn't much point of doing anything. 
I mean, we couldn't even go out in our boat. No one wanted to come up at all, so everyone decided to pack it up early and go. But even though the weather is supposed to be rainy on Saturday, Sunday is actually supposed to be a lot better. And in the high 70s, too, so here's the hoping. And here's the hoping that today and the rest of this week are all pretty darn solid. I have no idea what to do right now. Ah, oh boy, I never know what to do when I make these videos, but stuff just comes to me. Plus, you guys seem to watch it. You guys seem to be entertained by it. And I'm technically suffering on the inside because technically I'm making myself look like an idiot just admitting that I have no idea what I'm doing. So, yeah. Apparently, yay! Happiness from other suffering! Anyway, I should probably end things off here before I accidentally do... I don't know what I'll do. So, in any case, like, favorite, share, and hit that subscribe button. I could seriously use the support on YouTube. I'm humbled that I made this video for all of you guys to watch and enjoy today. I am hopeful that we all have a wonderful day today. And remember, if you guys ever want to talk or if you guys ever want to chat, I'll always be here to lend an ear. And I will always have your back. So, take care, everybody.